So today I'm going to be taking you through a upper body muscle building workout. I'm going to include a warm up and three tips per exercise. It's good for any skill level and I recommend doing it twice a week. I don't have any heavy dumbbells so I'll just be demonstrating with lighter ones. This will help you get stronger, put on size or just tone up your muscle and get more confident with weight training. So the first warm up exercise is 20 push ups. This will get your blood pumping and is a great warm up for pushing movements. Try not to rush these, I admit I was going a bit fast, just slow it down and focus on contracting the chest, triceps and shoulders. You can do these on your knees if it's too hard, the goal is just to get the blood moving. So warm up exercise to 20 pull ups. Keep the tension on your back constant, keep it slow, stretch at the bottom and squeeze at the top. You don't have to do 20 in a row, you can break it up into sets of 5 or 10. The goal is not to tire yourself, just to warm up your back and get some blood flowing. So warm up exercise number three, behind the head stretch. You can do this ideally with a band or improvise and use something around the house or gym. I even use the rope from a dressing gown. Use a closer grip if you're more flexible or a wider grip if you're not. Really try and stretch the arms and chest at the back of the movement. Warm up exercise number four, rotator cuffs. Use a very light weight for this, very good at reducing shoulder injury, and do this for about 20 reps. So the final warm up exercise, number 5, back stretch. Hold each one of these for about 15 seconds and really try and stretch everything out. So the first exercise is bench press, 8 reps, 4 sets. Draw your shoulders back and down, then place your upper back onto the bench. Keep your shoulders packed throughout the lift. Keep your body tight and plant your feet for stability. Place your hands a little wider than shoulder width. Don't load too much weight if you haven't got a spotter. Visualise stretching your chest at the bottom and squeezing it on the way up. Increase the weight slowly, for example 5kg increments until you reach your working weight. Bent over rows, 8 reps, 4 sets. Plant your feet and stay balanced with equal pressure throughout your feet. Draw your shoulders back, 
keeping tension on your back throughout the movement. Hinge at the hips with a slight bend in your knees, then lower the bar to or just below the knee, then focus on pulling with your back. Try not to pull with your biceps too much. I was using some momentum in this clip which you want to eliminate by keeping your back at a fixed angle and slow down the movement. This shows that having a second eye to your form can help you improve and spot your mistakes. Incline dumbbell press, 10 reps, 3 sets. A similar setup to the bench, packing your upper back and shoulders. Try to keep your wrists in line with your forearms to reduce wrist strain. Really focus on stretching and contracting the chest in a slow and controlled manner. Remember to press the weight in a straight line, not too far out in front or too far behind you. Single arm row, 12 reps, 4 sets, that's one arm, one set. Keep your elbow tight to your body, again stretch at the bottom and pull and squeeze at the top. With this one as well, focus on pulling with your lat and not with your bicep. The camera angle is not the best, which I do apologise for. Set the bench to one setting before 90 degrees. Push your shoulder blades and upper back against the bench. Keep your joints stacked and tight. Visualize punching the ceiling and squeezing the shoulders. The next exercise is the curl superset. Do curl 1 for 12 and then curl 2 for 12 straight after with no rest in between them. You're going to want to do that for 3 sets. Really try and eliminate momentum with this one and always keep the tension on the bicep. If you don't have dumbbells then you can use a wider grip and then a closer grip with the barbell. Okay, for the final exercise, it's overhead tricep extension. This is 12 reps for four sets. That's one arm, one set. Play around with the angles to find the tricep engagement. Your arm should bend in a straight line over your bicep. Stay tight and remember, stretch and squeeze. If you don't have a dumbbell or it's too heavy, I use a toweling rope rope and smaller weights. <laughs> 